what's up everyone so the Memphis Grizzlies led by Ja Morant uh, say that they want to double down on their trash talking especially moving forward and the Ja Morant thinks that's a good thing for him and good thing for the team so I mean uh, this is just so funny to see this is the same guy that said he was fine in the west and when he got trolled and his team got trolled so hard especially in the in the, the fact that they are first round exit despite being a two seed and deciding to double down and say that they're going to reduce the trash talk can you really show that these guys are not about that life so Ja Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies have been subject to relentless roasting since the first round loss against the Los Angeles Lakers a big reason is that both Ja and his teammates like Dylan Brooks have talked a lot of trash without having won anything significant but it seems that they have learned their lesson based on the latest report on what Ja Morant said about the topic so Ja said when he first came back in March that he was going to be more humble in his interviews and um, he added today that since he's doing less trash talking now the team will probably follow I think I feel like that will there'll be a good thing for us so Ja was Korea saying that so this is a this is so this is a player this is a team that were very arrogant and cocky during the regular season and they didn't even double down and even like you know they don't even not even double down they didn't even be humble and respect the fact that there are 29 other teams in the NBA and 15 and 14 others in the same conference that they're playing in and they're listening to whatever they're saying so when you keep when Jam Rand said that um, he's fine in the West and Dylan Brooks was you know uh, smacking everyone in the in the groin area trash talking uh, like half of the all-star team and you know doing all these antics it really set like a very bad precedence for the Memphis Grizzlies and affected like the way teams approach the Memphis Grizzlies matchup in this case when Ja was asked by Malika Andrews like uh, who's the team to beat and he said the Celtics and he said he's fine in the West all the other teams in the Western Conference felt like they they felt very disrespected considering the fact this is a this is an all-star who's talking like this and having a player of that caliber talk like that very condescending to the other teams rubs the other teams the wrong way and every chance they get and every chance like the the other teams get to match up against the Memphis Grizzlies it's like they've laid a fire under them and they just play like they want to destroy them literally destroy them and when you have a player like Dylan Brooks in there talking smart and going you know back and forth with a guy like Draymond Green a four-time champion a player who has been proven time and time again a man has been in the finals and is a key part, a key piece in that Warriors dynasty and a player that has won multiple championships and a player that a player has that has gone deep and been able to, you know, you know, get into his bag and become a defensive player of the year, a defensive anchor. This is a guy that has multiple defensive selections, all sorts selections, and you go back and forth with him and a guy like Dylan Brooks hasn't even won anything. And you know you let that you know trash talk you know go along and fester like that really really uh, drops the stock of the team and makes people not like you at all you have managed to make a whole fan base de- hate you and despise you previously it was the Suns a majority of the NBA players hated the Suns because of how they carried themselves their arrogance cockiness you know like the way they were talking you know smack people hated the Suns but now and they loved the Grizzlies because of how they were but now people started loving the Suns and they are now hitting the Grizzlies and it's a self-induced hate because you could see uh, the Memphis Grizzlies players are not even doing anything to change the whole narrative they're just you know going around their business talking smack and when they keep talking smack they go back and forth with the media you know, Shannon Sharp went back with, you know, Dylan Brooks in that game when the Lakers, when the Memphis Grizzlies were playing against the Lakers in the Lakers home floor at the Crypto Arena. So you could see the mistakes that uh, the Memphis Grizzlies make were more self-induced, especially heading into the playoffs. The way Dylan Brooks was 
disrespecting the king, rubbed NBA fans and rubbed the Laker nation the wrong way. And the Lakers were much more energized and they beat up and destroyed the Memphis Grizzlies in six games. And and I'm, I might argue the games that the Lakers won were not even close. The last game in the game six, the Lakers blew the Memphis Grizzlies, Grizzlies out by 40 points. So you could see the trash talk that they had during the regular season. It was just a star. It was just a stamp to show you that people don't like it when you know you disrespect them, and people have various ways of responding. There are other people who let their game respond, like a guy like LeBron. There's this time he was asked by the media if that is, he was he was not in the mood of you know exchanging. He just wanted to let his game play. You know, Dylan Brooks came out and said he's old. You know, um, it is what it is, and. Um, Right now, they're doubling down and saying they're going to, you know, focus on <laughs> do led, focus on removing and doing some less less trash talking, and also Ja hopes that the the other team will follow. But more likely than not, some moves are made in the right direction. You can see the Memphis Grizzlies have decided to move away from Dylan Brooks, even before free, even before like the postseason and finals came to a close. They're not even having the intention of re-signing this dude because they've seen that this guy, his trash talk is cancerous to the team and they have to remove him immediately so that they can be able to continue uh, trying to uh, forge that culture of doing less trash talk because majority of the time it's Dylan Brooks who's doing all the trash talk. If they're able to get rid of this dude, it'll be much more easier for you know them to reduce the trash talk. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this is a, these are guys who uh, who like doing a lot of trash talk, especially when they're winning. But when they lose, they just go radio silent. And they just go to show you that, you know, these guys are weak people and they're not about their life. So these are the people who are not, they're, they're not proven winners at all. They have not even, win, the first they've gone is the second round. So, and it's funny how Dylan Brooks, says he has no really regrets of the things that he said but further down the road you'll see the things that he said they'll come back to bite him especially when he doesn't get a contract in the nba so after the enormous backlash he dylan brooks received his fans haunting him with roast this man doesn't even have no social media and his instagram doesn't even have a post because if he posted anything on social media he'll be trolled so hard and uh it goes to show that this guy is mentally weak. So he's, he's not about their life. So uh, with fans honing in with roast, many thought even Dylan Brooks might be a little repentant regarding his actions and decisions. But that does not seem to be the case at all. After ducking his media duties during the series and after the game, he recently spoke out, says he'll continue to be who he is. So I'm a competitor and I compete. Uh, Dylan Brooks said, I will continue to be me and get a, get better what I do. So this doesn't exactly align with the tone John Rant is taking and the Grizzlies need to get this, get into the same page on this. But you could see the Memphis Grizzlies have decided to move away from a person like Dylan Brooks because he's actually cancerous to the team and he's bringing a negative vibe around the league, around the team. So right now, the Memphis Grizzlies, their time, the thing that they want to do is just change the culture and change the way and change their image the way they want to be perceived by the whole NBA. So getting rid of Dylan Brooks is a no-brainer. So and also Shams came out to the report saying that the Memphis Grizzlies under no circumstance will bring back Dylan Brooks. So these are just steps to, you know, changing the culture and the way people are looking at them. So um yeah, this is just a classic example of, you know, trash talking going wrong. And uh, you can't talk trash and be trash. And this is an, also an example as to why you need to respect veterans and respect people around the league. So, um, yeah, this, this, is just, uh, this is just one of those things I just wanted to mention. And um, please leave feedback down in the comments on what you think. And uh, I'm out. Peace.